Hey, 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 Leo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for the month of February 2024 for a love, romance, and partnership. And it's for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You know how these readings go. You could be a Leo. Your person could be a Leo. Feel free to switch the roles. Cross watchers are very much welcomed here. And Leo, yeah, we're going to take a look at what could be coming in. What do you need to know? <laughs> Challenges, roadblocks. I have some Oracle cards too. If you enjoy these readings, do let me know. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you want a personal reading, I do have a Valentine's Day special. Seven day turnaround. Um, it's a video recorded reading. Two questions included. Check it out. Good price on Etsy. All the details are below. All right. Let's get two cards to start this reading and um, take it from there. Messages for my Leos out there. What do they need to know? Any all messages? First card up, we have addiction, unhealthy attachment. Um, for some of you guys, you're dealing with someone and it feels like there is um, an unhealthy attachment to them, right? I don't feel addiction as in like, uh, drug use or anything for some of you guys it could be but I almost feel like some of you guys you feel like you need this person or vice versa they need you so there could be a feeling of like I can't get myself together without uh you know thinking about them there's something here where it feels like you're tied to them you're attached to them you're bound to them right in a very unhealthy way so it could be to like the point where you just you've lost yourself you've lost sense of who you are um all right let's take a look and then we also have one more card anxiety and worry so yeah the energy between the both of you and a particular person leo feels like there's a lot of anxiousness someone here is like overthinking there's a lot of mental energy here with the anxiety worry card so you know whether you're overthinking they're overthinking um it feels to me like there's just a lot on both of your mind you know this could be definitely a mutual energy between the both of you uh kind of like the nine of swords for me feels like there's just like can't get your mind together you know you're going around and around your head kind of like the eight of swords but then there is like you, you can't eat you can't sleep it affects your daily living all right so something like that could be happening some of you guys this is like part of the separation Okay, you're going through some kind of separation and you just you just don't know what life is like without this person. And that could be causing that uh, anxiety and worry. Right, you're not used to being without them. Or you're, you're worried about, you know, are they going to call me? Do they, do they care about me? In a recent past, Five of Cups. So there's some kind of loss. Yeah, Knight of Cups in the verse, Ace of Cups in the verse. So this is some kind of falling out. This is someone that I think you really cared very heavily about. There is definitely an emotional connection here. There's all cups. There could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio you're dealing with. I do feel like there's a feeling of a missed opportunity, kind of like what happened to us. You know, Ace of Cups is like, we were supposed to be great. We were supposed to be in this beautiful, loving relationship. And then something just never happened. Something that, you know, you expected or something that your person promised you. I also feel the Knight of Cups in reverse can be someone that just kind of went cold, that detached from you. I feel there's an energy of like I, someone here just not offering their full cup or kind of robbing you of love. So the Five of Cups, there's some regret, there's some loss, there's some sorrow here for sure. A lot of thinking about the past. Now the current energy with the Ace of Swords... Page of Pentacles in a verse and a judge in a verse. Someone here really wants to have a conversation, okay? I feel like there's the energy of like, let's sit down, let's talk about this. Because there's a need for clarity and truth. Maybe there's a need to clear up some kind of misunderstanding. That Ace of Swords is like, let me tell you what really happened. You know, because there's a situation here where Leo, maybe someone made the wrong decision about you. Or maybe they made the wrong decision with regard to you and them. It feels to me like there's some kind of bad judgment call or a decision that wasn't the best decision but may have felt like it at the time i also feel leo this is someone that may have been reluctant to make an offer page of pentacles and verses could be someone who's afraid or 
hesitant in reaching out to you for whatever reason. You know, they may feel like they aren't good enough. They don't have enough. Page of Pentacles in the verse. There's something keeping this person from taking action and making an offer. Let's take a look at the environment. Five of Swords in a verse. We have the Four of Wands in a verse. The Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So this is your person, whoever this is, okay? And I'm seeing the energy of someone who's very frustrated. Someone who is like annoyed at themselves. I do feel like this could be someone who feels ashamed of something they've done here. They may have lied. They may have said some things that weren't true. And it has caused some kind of disunion or disharmony between the both of you. For some of you guys, this is a breakup. Okay, this could be like a home or family breakup or a separation or someone leaving, a divorce. Something that affects the home, the peace, the harmony. And it feels to me like your person's well aware that, you know what, I'm the reason for this. Now, I do see them wanting to get out of their head. There's a lot of fear, a lot of mental energy, anxiety, right? This could be that anxiety, worry card. Your person could definitely be the person who's uh, very anxious and worried about something here. You know, to the point where they're not communicating. They may not even be talking right now because of some kind of anxiety they're feeling regarding you and them, okay? I'm seeing nightmares as well. How they see moving forward, I do feel like your person is really striving to take some kind of action, lead action to protect, to fight, to defend the connection in some way. Uh, they may have not figured it out just yet, but I do feel that is something they're working on with that seven of wands there. Like, what's the best way to, to defend and protect the situation, the connection? Now, coming in, we have the Queen of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Eight of Cups and the Hermit in Reverse. So this could be in Virgo as well. Now, what it looks like to me is that, Leo, there is someone that, again, you will be having some kind of communication with. There's enough communication cards here. Maybe after a period of silence or uh, excessive worry, right? Someone is realizing something and a hermit in reverse is telling me that maybe they spent some time alone in solitude, uh, doing a lot of deep thinking, introspection, and now they figured something out. The hermit in reverse is like an aha, right? I figured it out. Um, and, you know, they're kind of coming out of their shell if they've kind of been hiding and kind of being to themselves. I do feel like there's something now they are aware of and they may want to speak about it. Eight of Cups is here. So someone here may have to walk away from something. I, I feel like there's an energy of maybe something from the past or hurt. You know, you hurt me. You disappointed me. I can't forgive you. Maybe there's something that someone has to leave behind. It can also be that five of cups over here, that emotional uh, disappointment, that sorrow, that, that shame, right? So let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. messages for my wheels out there all right so we have um unhealthy attachment with the addictions card and anxiety and worry give me one card here all right you got two cards so two of swords and a six of pentacles so someone here the challenge it feels like someone is working on making a decision a decision that is going to bring some kind of fairness balance reciprocity so i almost feel like this is your person leo your person could feel like you know what i need to do the right thing I need to be the one to bring harmony and um, peace back to a situation because I'm the one who ruined this. I'm the one who shortchanged Leo, right? There's something here where they're wanting to maybe fix it through a decision, okay? So there's a decision they're having to make. Um, I also see for some of you guys, you may feel the need to like invest back in yourself because maybe you poured so much into this person and to the connection where two swords could be like, I have to cut this person out. Maybe you've done it already. And that is the challenge for a lot of you guys to put focus on you, make yourself the priority and not your person. So that could be something here that's playing out. And that could be a challenge for you as well as your person. Um, especially if there's an unhealthy attachment, right? Letting go, cutting this cutting the cord, sip, sip, could probably be the best thing. It could be very liberating. All right. And it could bring balance and structure back to your life, right? So give me the recent past. What happened with this falling out? Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups in reverse with the Five of Cups. Yeah, the Judge in reverse. So someone is like, 
I made the wrong decision about you. I loved you. I cared about you. But still, I made a decision to part ways. So someone here may have literally done something that led to a breakup or a separation or a divorce. But it's like it's not what they wanted. Because the judge in the verse is like, I made the wrong decision. Yeah. And I feel like instantly in making that decision, five of pentacles, they felt alone. They felt something was missing, right? They felt like... This can't be it. Five of Pentacles is here. So it feels to me like someone, you know, they made the decision and it's like, this was clearly the wrong decision because now I'm left um, miserable, right? I feel abandoned. I feel like I abandoned my person. So there's a lot of regrets. Five of Cups is like looking back in the past, regretting something here. So give me the energy right now. What do they want to talk about? It could be regarding this bad decision they've made. Six of Wands, so they may want a victory with you. So they want to uh, get your attention. For some of you guys, you're ignoring them. And it's kind of like, I want to talk to you, Leo. I want to talk about this, the situation, the confusion. Seven of Cups. Some of you guys, you think your person um, has other people, other options. You know, there's something here where it's like, no, this is what really happened. Someone wants to clear up the confusion, the illusions that you're feeling or you, you may be seeing with regard to the situation. You may be looking at them and... Um, you know, there's just some kind of idea that it went down a certain way and it maybe it didn't. Ace of Swords is like, I want to give you some clarity, okay? Temperance in reverse. Is it too late? That's my only concern. I do feel like there is some kind of anxiety that's coming in with the temperance in reverse where someone is very anxious and worried. Like, maybe I'm coming to Leo and it's too late for Leo to change their mind or even look at me differently, right? Because I've caused too much damage. So someone is going to want a victory. They want your attention they want some kind of success um they want you to hear them out five of swords what's this card high priestess in reverse could be a pisces the hangman in reverse and a five of swords okay so yeah i think um what i'm seeing here is telling me someone is like Here's the truth. Here's the big reveal. The high priest I've been keeping this to myself. Um, I haven't been sharing this. I, you know, this could be very secretive. It could be a secret or a secret admirer, a secret person. There's something that they've been keeping to themselves and they're very much stressed by it. They, they, they know that it has led to a lot of conflict and disagreements between the both of you. And now they're seeing it, right? The hangman of earth. Now I see it. Now I realize it. Five of swords. I lied. I mistreated you. I did this. And so, yeah, I do feel like this five of swords is an opportunity. Um, I would say like the hangman and the five of swords is your person realizing something. And now like, you know what, maybe we should talk about it, even if it's going to cause some kind of disagreement, right? So yeah, I do feel your person, ace of swords, right here in the middle of the spread could be shedding some light on a matter giving you some clarity about why maybe they kept the secret and they feel like you know what i need to tell you the truth even if it's just it's not going to be what you want to hear even if it causes some conflict it's something you ought to know eight of swords seven of wands Some of you guys, you were in a marriage with this person or some kind of long-standing commitment. I feel like your person um, wants to apologize. They want to find a way on how they can express themselves better emotionally or connect with you on an emotional level. They're afraid of that for whatever reason. They're afraid to emotionally connect with you, afraid that maybe you would reject them or not forgive them, right? They're afraid that you're not going to stand up for the connection the, the way that they would stand up for the connection after all that has happened. Now, give me the Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Hermit. Whew, the Tower. It's not a bad thing because I think the Tower here is like something here is culminating. Something has to happen. Uh, it's like a breaking point, right? Breakdowns lead to breakthroughs. I feel with the Tower here. It could be a Scorpio. Um, I think the Tower is really telling me that there's something here that you and your person have to talk about. There's, an, there's some kind of explosive event or something here that feels like, okay we can't go on like this we have to talk about it here it is right and so it's going to bring some kind of enlightenment truth the hermit in reverse awareness i mean the queen of swords is here there's a lot of communication so you can be finding out a lot that leads to a breakdown but we know after breakdowns those breakthroughs so that is definitely an opportunity here with the tower here um and there's an opportunity to maybe even walk away from something that has caused a, a lot of hurt in the past or misunderstanding okay because that queen of swords is going to give you clarity so leo 
that is what I'm seeing. I do feel like for some of you, you have a big decision to make. Maybe you are the one who has to make a decision in cutting something out to bring some kind of balance, harmony to your life in some sort, okay? So in some way. So that is what I'm seeing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. And again, Valentine's Day specials are available. I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.